Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Beige. If you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and comment down below before you leave. So today's video is gonna be a tutorial on this wig sent to me from I Like Hair. I will have all of their information, the promo codes and direct links down below in the description box. So the wig that I received is an 18 inch hyper realistic 13 by four HD lace wig with ventilated kinky edges. The wig texture is kinky straight and the wig cap construction features four combs and an adjustable strap. So here's an up close of the ventilated kinky edges. I must say that I have tried a couple of these wigs before in the past, but this one is by far, by far, the most natural looking ventilated kinky edge wig that I have tried thus far. I love the fact that this hairline is rounded in the front instead of square. And that is a major thing for me because typically my hairline is always out when I'm wearing wigs because a lot of the wig hairlines are squared and my hairline is rounded. So you are always able to see my edges unless I do baby hairs on wigs. I love the fact that I don't have to do that with this wig. So I'm not gonna do any baby hairs at all because they did a really good job with making a widow's peak in the front to mimic my own natural hairline, I'm obsessed straight out of the package with no extra work. Look how natural this wig looks. This definitely looks like I have some thick, natural, beautiful hair that I blew out. Like this looks like a natural blowout. The edges look so natural. Like I am just so blown away by that. I swear to y'all. I wore this wig to take pictures and people just kept on saying, your hair is so beautiful. Your hair is so beautiful. FaceTime my friends. Oh my gosh, girl, you took your locks out. No, I didn't. <laughs> Did you dye your hair back black? No, I didn't. This is actually a wig, y'all. Like, I'm floored by this. This is the best yet. And just so you can get a visual of the wig's hairline and the widow's peak, and this is my hairline and my widow's peak. It's the same exact hairline. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is bleach the knots on this frontal so that it can look a little bit more natural, of course. So I am using a 20 volume developer and this powder bleach from Kaleida Colors. I am gonna leave the bleach on for about 20 to 25 minutes, wash and deep condition, of course. And then after that, allow the hair to air dry. I am using two different colors of lace tint to tint the lace on this wig. The first color of lace tint that I am spraying now is the color of my foundation. I'm spraying that on the outer portion where the hairline is of the wig. And then the inner portion of the wig, I'll be spraying the color that is the color of my scalp. And I am doing two different layers of each color of lace tint and blow drying in between each layer. This is going to give me an even more natural appearance because this is going to give me an even more natural looking scalp and hairline. So basically be a perfect color match for my complexion. Okay, so I did part this wig off camera, just deciding where I wanted my parting space to be, and I am going for a side part today. I'm just gonna grab my flat iron and go over that parting space a little bit. I don't wanna take, I don't wanna make this hair super silky smooth, but I do wanna define that part, so that's basically what I'm doing now. And then I'm just gonna pin the hair out of the way and just grab my blow dryer, and I am just going to relax the edges a little bit. I did not wanna flat iron them at all because of course it won't be kinky if I flat iron the edges. I wanna keep that natural looking kink, but I don't want it this kinky if that makes sense. So I am just gonna use my blow dryer and that heat and my brush is going to relax the kinks a little bit. So this is how it looked before, and I'll show you guys the after in just a second. And here is the after. What do you think about this hairline? What do you think about how it looks now that I blow dried the kinks out a little bit? Comment down below. Does it look more natural like this? Like that already looks like it's on my forehead. Like that's how natural this looks to me. Um, but some people prefer it before. Comment down below so that I can get an idea of your preference. 
So I am going to style this wig by adding some curling rods to the bottom of it. I'm just going to comb through a section, apply this styling foam as well as a little bit of water, and then I'm just going to use this perm rod to curl the ends. I'm going to follow those steps throughout the entire head and then I'll come right back. After allowing the curls to air dry overnight, it is now the next morning and now time to remove these perm rods. All right, so don't come for Curly Sue and don't judge her. because <laughs> This is the start of the hairstyle, not the finished product. So now I'm just gonna grab a pair of zigzag scissors and cut away this extra lace. Cutting right in front of the hairline, I'm gonna carefully make sure that I am not cutting away any of these uh, kinky baby hairs, but cutting right in front of where it is. And then I am just going to follow the natural curvature of this wig, of course. Grabbing alcohol, I'm just going to clean off my forehead with that alcohol and then scalp protector. I'm gonna grab that and apply that to my hairline. Okay, y'all, we are gonna try a brand spanking new way and method of applying our wigs. So this may be a hit, may be a miss, it may be a little bit of both. We about to test it out and see. I'm just gonna try this wig on first, making sure that the hairline is exactly lined up with mine. If the air tabs are a little bit long, you may have to go ahead and uh, just cut it to fit the shape of your ear. I chose not to cut out the air tabs. Okay, so I'm just going to push the wig backwards so that I can have a clear view of my hairline. I'm gonna grab a makeup sponge and this Wonder Lace Bond from Even New York. I'm gonna spray a very good amount of that Wonder Lace Bond onto my makeup sponge. And then I am just going to dab that adhesive onto my hairline. All right, so two benefits of using this method. The first benefit is if I would have grabbed that adhesive spray and sprayed it on my hairline, that spray would have been going everywhere and it would have been getting on more of my hair than I wanted it to get on. It also would have been dripping down my face and I hate when that happens. So this is going to allow me to control where that adhesive goes. And the second benefit for doing this method is the fact that because we are working with lace and lace does have holes in it, of course, if I was to use something stronger like um, Got To Be Ultra Glue Gel, that gel would have gone through the holes of the lace and right onto the hairs and it would have been a complete mess and it would not look as natural. So me doing this method with that adhesive spray is not only giving me complete control as to where that adhesive spray is going, but it is also not getting through the lace and getting onto the hairs. Now a little, little, little bit of the baby hairs did kind of clump together, but not much. And it's not that much that I cannot fix it from here. So I'm just going to grab one of those baby hair brush comb duos and I'm just gonna take my time and just comb out where the hairs clumped together. It, it was only like two sections of hair that clumped together. And that was because I ended up adding a little bit more of that adhesive using the makeup sponge at the very edge of the, the wig in the front. And that was just so that the very ends of the lace can lay down flat and completely melt into my skin. And as you can see, as I'm combing it, it's not giving me any trouble. It's just going straight through the hairs. I'm obsessed. What do you think about this wig? What do you think about the texture and style of it? What do you think about the new hyper-realistic hairline? What do you think about my new method for applying our wigs with a beauty blender sponge? Let's chat all things this wig down below in the comment section. As always, thank you so much for watching. I will have all of the information, the promo codes, and direct links to this wig worn in this video from I Like Hair. If you are new here, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up, comment down below, and also subscribe down below before you leave. And I can't wait to see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.
Bezo Yeah, that's right. It's Bezo Zay.